Hey Sagittarius, this is Angelica. So I'm going to do a reading for you all. I'm doing it different tonight. I'm doing career and finance. I'm doing love. I have my trigger cards. I have my health uh, reading for y'all. Four card spread for each. The love uh, portion is clarified, however, because I wanted to get a deeper understanding. Um, I also have your sexual energy. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to start with the career read. We came out with the hangman as the first card, Piscean energy. Now, the hangman is about stagnation, um, delays. It could be some delays with your money. But I see uh, fast, rapid movement coming in when it comes to money. I see a call coming in, some type of fast, quick transaction. I, I see a transaction coming. Six of uh, swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Uh, that's like going on a calm water. So I see your money uh, improving if your money has been on hold or delayed. Tax time right around the corner, y'all. We mid-month now, so we know the money coming. The Hierophant came out behind that Taurus energy. This is about like a leveling up. So if it's career-wise, I feel like um, there's some type of uncertainty. Like you don't know your life path right now. But I see fast, rapid movement going to the next level with you at, at work. A promotion for some with that Hierophant coming out. Right now, I feel like some of y'all don't know, um, not boundaries, but just what to do when it comes to work. Uh, you may not know your, you don't, some of y'all don't know your life path right now, uh, Sagittarius, as far as what you want to do with your life. But I do see you leveling up. I do see you moving on and leveling up, and it's going to happen just like that, Sagittarius. Money's going to improve just like that. It may be on hold right now, but just hold on, Sagittarius. It's coming. Now, with love, y'all, I got the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. This is like truth and clarity. This is an aha moment. I see a page of wands coming out. I see a conversation being had, y'all, where you may gain some truth and clarity from somebody. Could possibly uh, find yourself in a relationship, Sagittarius, with the Nine of Pentacles coming out in reverse. This is my codependent card, but it's in the, re in the reverse, y'all. But this is about somebody being single and being good by themselves. I don't know if somebody feel like they can't live without you, Sagittarius. They may be a bit codependent because we got the codependent card over here in the um, in the trigger cards. But it could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is mainly Aries energy. So it could be an Aries uh, giving you some clarity saying, hey, I can't be without you. Um, could be somebody taking on this energy. This could be the energy you taking on. Maybe some of y'all finding it hard. Uh, to be by yourself right now, you may not possibly want to be alone. Five of Pentacles in reverse. If it's somebody from your past coming in, y'all, because a lot of these cards did come out reverse. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. This is about loss when it's in the upright. This is you coming out of feeling like, you know, you took a loss in a relationship. Ten of Swords, somebody may have stabbed you in the back, but I see you coming out of that energy. I see sneaky energy. I'm going to show y'all why. I feel like somebody could be giving y'all some truth and clarity saying they're sorry because the truth card that says I'm sorry came out. Big booty came out, y'all. It could be for sexual energy and pregnant as well. I might as well just get those out the way. But I do feel like there's going to be some communication, some type of uh, conversation being had. Somebody's going to, uh, somebody, possibly in Aries is codependent on you. You may be codependent upon this Aries. This, Like I said, this may be the energy you taking on of this codependency, y'all. But I feel like um, some of y'all want to come out of the cold. Uh, could be overcoming some type of struggles moving forward in a positive direction with this coming out in the re uh, reverse uh, as far as relationships. Uh. Y'all could be in the beginning of a phase of a relationship if you've been single for a while. I don't see you being single for uh for too much longer, Sagittarius. I got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse now. If this is somebody from your past coming back, Sagittarius, I feel like this person was non-committal. They weren't invested in this relationship, and it's clarified with the Seven of Swords in reverse as well. This person possibly was a liar, which is possibly why the sneaky card came out, y'all. I feel like this person is probably gaining clarity that they want to be with you now they don't want to be without you they might be codependent like i said you could be codependent i feel like um it's an ending to lies if this person was a liar they coming back ready to uh invest they're not gonna lie no more sagittarius but i feel like there is some codependency there uh be careful of that you don't want to just be in a relationship because you don't want to be without them you want to be with them because you actually want them sagittarius so we went over the trigger cards for health I got the devil, y'all. This can signify depression. I don't know if some of y'all depressed. I see that um, we do have a codependent card. So somebody could be depressed. They could be dealing with some mental issues, psychological issues. Um, oh, I meant to tell y'all in the career read. The hierophant is uh, symbolic of a teacher, a mentor. And the hangman is uh, symbolic of somebody who works with pharmaceuticals. It could be in the medical field, y'all. You could be a pharmacy technician, whoever this is. I'm speaking on it's about a teacher, mentor, pharmacy technician, somebody who works in the medical field, pharmaceuticals. 
All right, back to what we was doing. The devil card came out for the health, right? Uh, Capricorn energy to speak to uh, depression. Somebody need to probably slow down on the drink, Sagittarius. I feel like y'all be drinking a lot. Y'all need to slow down on the drinks right now because I see that codependent energy and I'm sorry. So there's some type of remorse, regretful energy coming in for y'all. I'm not a pinnacle. So, um, this is about physical strength and regaining your uh, energy. Uh, I feel like I see y'all uh, rejuvenating this. And I say that because the temperance came out in the up right behind there. This is you regaining your energy, rejuvenating. Uh, this is about the temperance is about healing, and this is about regaining your energy or whatever. So if uh, some of y'all have been sick, I see y'all getting better. Uh, Nine of Cups came out in reverse, y'all. This is about drug abuse or alcohol, y'all. I feel like somebody be drinking too much, Sagittarius. There is a need. I feel like you can heal, and Spirit is saying putting this behind temperance saying if you just stop, put the drinks down Sagittarius or some of y'all maybe needing to put yourself in rehab but I do see y'all coming into a place of healing actually doing the work with the knight of pentacles and the temperance uh if you've been doing something in excess I feel like you will be uh coming out of this Sagittarius now for sexual energy what is this the ten of wands in reverse y'all I see y'all busting nuts Sagittarius ten of wands this is a release to me this is like a burden like somebody holding something in when it's in the upright it's a release to me I feel like um somebody uh may like to uh hold y'all and pick y'all up and have y'all straddling them while they while y'all have sex with their coming out we also have the king of pentacles in reverse i feel like some of y'all this is about somebody who controls something when it's in the upright y'all the king of pentacles but it's in reverse i feel like some of y'all dropping control maybe being dominated sagittarius somebody may be dominating y'all could be a kingpin dominating y'all i do see the will of fortune i feel like you like it with the will of fortune coming out you like to uh, just let go of control and let somebody else run the show in the bedroom sagittarius you possibly could like threesomes where i see these three women some of y'all may like the same sex sagittarius I also have the Queen of Wands in reverse. She is um she's very sexual when she's in the upright. This and she's very dominating. That's why I feel like y'all letting go of uh control and letting somebody else dominate y'all and take control of y'all in the bedroom Sagittarius. Somebody could be into BDSM and if they with it, you with it, point them out, point them out, Sagittarius. Um be careful not to get pregnant though. I do see that. So um that's all I have for y'all. Till next time. Light and love.